sorry guys, I didn't see you there. I was just enjoying my best island life with the new Animal Crossing New Horizons. And now that that intro is done, I can get rid of this. I think you should probably know by that introduction that I'm going to talk about the new Animal Crossing New Horizons. This game was released a few weeks ago and I haven't been able to talk about it because I've been playing it non-stop. Not 24-7 because it's a very casual kind of video game, but I've been playing it non-stop. This video game is actually very close to my heart. Not, not this one, not the new one, but the series. Because if I remember correctly, Animal Crossing Wild World was the first video game I ever played as a child. I remember I was with my parents in one of the Canary Islands in Spain and I had my Nintendo DS there with me and I didn't really have any games. I don't know what my parents were thinking when they bought me the Nintendo DS but I don't really think I had any video games, any games at all. So uh, I remember we were there on our vacation and I told my parents that I wanted to go new Animal Crossing. And, and, and that's about it. We entered one of the... one of... I don't actually remember what kind of shop it was, but they were selling uh, the new Animal Crossing, so we bought it there and I started playing there. And that game released... 15 years ago. That's that's a really long while ago, isn't it? For those of you who don't know what Animal Crossing is, it's a simulation kind of game. In the case of Animal Crossing New Horizons, you start off in some kind of airport and you're talking to Tommy and Timmy and of course they ask you for your name, your uh, information about you. Tell us everything. And supposedly they take your picture. And after that they send you off to a really remote island with two other villagers which are really random for each player. Mine were Biff and Sylvia, a kangaroo and a hippopotamus. They are nice. I, I really find uh, it's really adorable that Sylvia, the kangaroo of one, has her baby in her pouch. That, that's really adorable. So yeah, you start in a remote island and you basically live on a tent. And you have to build your life from the ground up. Let's talk about the additions to the game. First of all, the Nook phone. I find that the Nook phone has been an amazing addition because it gives you the opportunity to add new apps over time. And it's a way to store all the information that you have been recollecting through the game without really having to enter into your pockets menu. Because that's what you had to do in previous games. But now you can enter your Nook phone and there you would have the app that tells you how many fish or how many bugs have you caught. Now, there is another addition I want to talk about and that is the crafting mechanic. I'm obsessed with crafting. Obsessed. I love the fact that you can create your own furniture, that you can create fences, that you can create all sorts of stuff. It's amazing. I don't know how to tell you guys how this function has been a huge improvement on the series. Because I remember the last Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing New Leaf, and I remember that I wanted to create parks and uh, different kinds of areas in my town, but I really didn't know how because there were no fences. And so what I would do is either get bushes and put them around the park so that it would create this sort of enclosed area, or I would dig holes around a certain area and yeah, basically, the holes were the, the fence, right? That was kind of bad. I must admit. Yeah, I was younger, so... The fences in Animal Crossing New Leaf 
are amazing. Now, there are some things I'm kind of disappointed with. And that is the fact that there's a lot of stuff missing. I understand that uh, we've been sent off to a remote island and in remote islands you don't have a lot of stuff. But I don't know if you guys remember, but in Animal Crossing New Leaf we had tons of shops. We had the flower shop, the shoe shop, the Able Sisters, Nook's Cranny, the Happy Home shop, the Rim Suite, LOL. There were a lot of shops. And that was really great. You could go one afternoon and visit all the shops and see what they had in store. But let's say that in Animal Crossing New Horizons there aren't many shops. First of all, you have the resident services, which isn't really a shop, but okay, where you can craft and where you can buy stuff with your Nook Miles and all that. Second of all, you have Nook's Cranny, which is Timmy and Tommy's shop, where they sell you furniture and seeds, wallpaper and all that stuff. Then you have the Able Sisters. We all know the Able Sisters. They sell you clothes. Then you also have a camping site so that new villagers can stay there and see if they want to live in your town. Then you have the airport where you can catch a flight to go in random tour islands. And then you have the museum which is incredible by the way but there's not many shops there. And I hope Please, I hope that they will add more shops in the future because it's really sad to see all these characters but without them having any shops. For example, Celeste comes to your town when there's going to be a star shower but she doesn't have her place in the museum. And what about the roost? Where's the cafe? What happened to Brewster? I need the cafe, I need the rooster. But that's not the only thing. There are a few more characters who appear in the game and they had a store in Animal Crossing and you leave but they don't anymore so i hope that since nintendo has promised us with free updates that maybe they will add a rooster and maybe a flower shop or, or more fruits why do we only have six fruits i remember that in animal crossing new leaf there were tons of fruits there were lemons mangoes uh, bananas durians there were a lot of more exotic fruits and on this one we only have six so please nintendo add more content add more fruits more shops i beg you we need those lastly one of the other additions i want to talk about is the nook mines i would consider them like bells but with bells you can buy some stuff and with nook mines you can buy other stuff that you cannot buy with bells like for example recipes that you can craft furniture or clothes and expansions for your bag or new hairstyles and most important of all you can buy tickets to go on random tour islands talking about the random tour islands they also need a little bit more improvement in general they are nice but it's a kind of downgrade also from animal crossing new leaf because in animal crossing when you went on tours you went to this island that was managed by some characters and you could go and play uh, mini games with your friends you could go diving to catch more fish or other stuff and that was really enjoyable and now you go to a randomly generated island and you basically have to cut down trees and all that to get more resources for your craftings and that is nice that is incredibly helpful if you don't have enough resources but i would be for us to be able to play some mini games with our friends or to go diving. I would love for that to come back. In general, it's a fantastic game and I would recommend it to everyone who can get their hands on it or their virtual hands because as the situation is now, maybe you cannot buy it physically but you can also buy it on the eShop so. And now, if you excuse me, I'd like to go back to my island and to enjoy my game.
So, I'll see you on the next video.